it's been a while since the latest generation graphics cards were released, and recently their prices are finally dropping to MSRP level. Although the prices are at a more reasonable level now, there's a few GPUs that I still don't recommend buying at all. Let's start with AMD's RX 9000 series. The 9060 XT 8GB. This card has a 16GB version, and it is not worth saving that 50 bucks for half the VRAM. The 9060XT is capable of running 1440p at high settings, with its raw performance. However, most games nowadays usually take up around 10 to 12 gigabytes of VRAM to run 1440p at higher settings. In this case, if you bought the 8GB version, you will experience VRAM bottleneck pretty frequently while gaming in 1440p. You might have noticed that some of the 8GB models cost even less than MSRP. The reason is simple. No one wants them. 8GB of VRAM is simply not enough for what this GPU is capable of doing. That's the only AMD GPU that you should avoid buying. The rest of the newer GPUs in this video are from Nvidia. Moving on to 5060 Ti 8GB version. First of all, similar to the 9060 XT, 8GB of VRAM isn't enough to match the processing power of this card. It can run games in 1440p at high settings as well so it definitely requires more than 8GB of VRAM. Reason number two is because it has a similar pricing compared to the 16GB version of 9060XT, which is just 4% behind the 5060Ti in terms of rasterization and gaming performance. Yet, the 9060XT is 20% cheaper for both 8GB and 16GB models. It's a no-brainer to go with 9060XT for gaming. Last but not least, the RTX 5050. I don't think I need to explain much on this card. It's 2-6% behind the 4060 and it's selling for 249 You can easily get a second-hand RTX 3070 on eBay and have a performance increase of 34-52%. to Or you can simply spend 50 bucks more for the 5060. I just don't understand the point of selling this card at all. So that's pretty much all the new GPUs you should avoid buying. AMD GPUs are generally better for gaming. If you need a GPU for productivity work like 3D rendering, video editing, get NVIDIA GPUs. They are much better in such tasks. Anyways, I hope I have helped you out in the last few minutes. Thanks for watching till the end. I'll see ya in the next video.